Bidding and negotiation can be an exciting and stressful part of a building project. On the one hand, you get closer to starting your construction and seeing your project come to life. On the other, you may be confused about the process and worried about the results. In this video, we are going to address those concerns and break down the process. My name is Dave Zarodnik, and I'm Vice President here at Newman Munson Architects. In our experience, the bidding process runs the smoothest when clients know what to expect. We aim to advocate for your interests and create a fair and competitive bidding process for contractors. In this video, you will learn about the three primary steps of the bidding process, hosting a pre-bid conference, issuing addenda, and accepting bids. Keep in mind, bidding differs depending on the project delivery method. To learn more about the five most common project delivery methods, click the link in the description to watch our video. By the end of this video, you will understand the process for a typical design, bid, build project. Then we will dive into alternative routes you can take. The bidding and negotiation process will look different on each project, but design, bid, build projects will follow a similar pattern. With this project delivery method, you hire an architect to complete the design and after bidding, a contractor to complete the construction. After your architect completes the necessary contract documents, contractors receive plan sets and determine a bid amount by consulting subcontractors. After sending plan sets out to interested contractors, the first step of the bidding process is usually a pre-bid conference. Although a conference is not a requirement, we recommend hosting one to get everybody on the same page. During the conference, your architect will outline the instructions for submitting bids. Your architect will also review the project's requirements, especially those related to commissioning, funding, and sustainability. Ultimately, your architect should aim to create a fair and competitive bidding process and outline requirements to help prevent anyone from being disqualified on a technicality. Throughout the pre-bid conference, your architect and their consultants will answer questions they receive from the contractors. All questions and answers will be recorded and added to the contract documents in the form of an addendum. Depending on a project's size and complexity, contractors typically have four to six weeks to review the contract documents and submit their bids. During this time, your architect will issue addenda which are formal corrections or clarifications to the documents. Multiple factors can lead to addendas, including corrections to the contract documents after the bidding process has began, owner's request for changes, contractor's request for clarifications, or simply product substitution requests. Regardless, your architect will record each change or clarification and make it available to all the contractors bidding the project. Keeping everyone in the loop helps ensure a fair and competitive process. To help ensure that bids are accurate and responsible, contractors may be asked to submit a bid bond with their bids. A bid bond is a legal document signed by a third-party CRD company that ensures compensation to the owner if the bidder fails to begin the project. If the contractor cannot honor their bid, the owner can file a claim on the bid bond and hire the second lowest bidder. In some cases, the lowest responsible bidder may be outside your initial budget. Typically, high bids within a tight range indicate that bids are high because construction costs have escalated, not because contractors did not understand the provided bidding documents. If this occurs, you can either adjust your budget or return to the design phase of your project. By removing or minimizing programming elements, your architect can help reduce the cost. This situation is far from ideal, and your architect should estimate costs throughout the design process to keep the project within budget. If the architect is concerned about the bidding climate or unstable construction costs, they may factor in a bidding contingency into your budget or plan for alternates within the project's bid. An alternate is a separately priced portion of the project identified within the bidding documents that provides an option to not move forward with that portion of the work if the project bids higher than anticipated. 
A formal bidding and negotiation process does not occur on every project. If you use a design negotiate bid delivery method, your contractor will be involved earlier in the project. After your architect completes the construction documents, your contractor may solicit bids from some contractors. If you have a construction manager, the process may differ even more. Construction managers may break the project into separate scopes, also known as bid packages, and bid out separate prime contracts, multiplying the number of agreements you will have. If you use a construction manager at risk method, the construction manager may even self-perform some portions of the work. Initially, the bidding and negotiation process can seem overwhelming. A quality architect will guide you through the process and communicate with the bidders involved. Your architect should aim to create a fair bidding process and help ensure the contractors have information needed to compete fairly. Now that you understand the bidding process, it's time to prepare for construction. Read our guide to contract administration to learn what you can expect from your architect during the construction process. Thank you for watching.